Hi there, I'm Dr Glenda Beard, GP in Bristol and clinical lead for cancer at the Bristol North Somerset and South Gloss Integrated Care Board. This week is Cervical Cancer Prevention Week. I did say prevention. Prevention because cervical cancer is a preventable cancer. And there are three ways that you can reduce your risk of developing cervical cancer and actually pre prevent it. The first of those is have your HPV vaccination. That's a vaccination against the human papillomavirus, a virus that causes the majority of cases of cervical cancer, as well as genital warts. And you can be vaccinated against it for free on the NHS if you are under the age of 25. Some people can have vaccination over the age of 25, so please do look at the NHS website to check if you're eligible. The second thing you can do to prevent yourself getting cervical cancer is to have your cervical screening when invited. This starts at the age of 25 in England and is a free test. You will be invited for it by post and you book it at your practice. People are understandably reluctant to have cervical screening. People worry about it being uncomfortable, people worry about being embarrassed, but I'd really like to reassure you that it is a simple, painless test for the vast majority of people. If you have worries, our practice nurses will happily support you to have that test. There are lots of things we can do to make it easier for you. So please, if you've been invited, pick up the phone, give us a ring and get yourself booked in or at least have that conversation. Finally, it is January, it is a new year and if you're a smoker, I'd really like to encourage you to give up smoking. We know smoking increases the risk of cervical cancer. By stopping smoking, you can reduce that risk as well as all the other health benefits and financial benefits of stopping smoking. Three things you can do to prevent you, you getting cervical cancer, a cancer that could end your life as well as impact on your fertility.